To keep your PKP in top working order, it's important to give it a good clean after every use and before you use it for the first time. Fortunately, cleaning your PKP is easy. These are all the components that can be removed and cleaned. Here's how. First of all, make sure to unplug your PKP and wait for it to cool before cleaning. Now, remove the lid and inner pot and take the condensation cup off the back of the unit. With a warm, soapy cloth, wipe down the unit inside and out. Never submerge the unit in water or any liquid. This will damage the electrical parts. We recommend hand washing the rest of the components to help them last longer and preserve the non-stick coating of the inner pot. However, the inner pot, spoon, steamer tray and measuring cup can all go in the dishwasher. To clean the lid, first remove the inner lid by taking hold of the pull tab and lifting off. Remove the gasket from the inner lid and wash it and the inner lid in warm water with a mild detergent and soft cloth or sponge. Check the gasket periodically to make sure it's clean and flexible. If it's hard and inflexible, you need a replacement. These are readily available on highstreettv.com. Depending on what you've cooked, you may notice a discoloration of the gasket. This is normal. If you've cooked anything with a strong flavor, we recommend leaving the gasket to soak overnight. Do not put the gasket in the dishwasher. The heat could warp it and prevent your PKP from working correctly. Next, remove the small gasket from the outer lid and wash in warm water with a mild detergent and soft cloth or sponge. Again, do not put this in the dishwasher. Make sure the float valve and pressure release valve are clean and free of debris. Both should be able to move freely. To give them a thorough clean, both can also be removed. Simply take hold of the pressure release valve and lift off. The float valve will come out easily once the gasket has been removed. If necessary, use a small pin or unfolded paper clip to remove any blockages. Wash the upper and underside of the outer lid in warm water with a mild detergent and soft cloth or sponge. Once all parts are dry, they can all be replaced easily. When replacing the inner lid, ensure it's in the correct position with the pull facing outwards. And that's it. You're ready to get cooking all over again. Enjoy.